The 50 cubed program is now available. Tactical hypertrophy 50 cubed. So 50 cubed is, is the aspect we're talking about right now. And like I said before, the greatest tactical athletes have the speed, conditioning, agility, movement capacity of somebody 50 pounds lighter, but possess the strength of somebody 50 pounds heavier. What a deadly combination. So we will put a link at the bottom of this video for the Tactical Hypertrophy 50 Cube program. This is, this is um, you know, 11 years in the, ma in the making, experiment, experimenting back and forth. I'm in Texas. Tom is in um, Australia. We've met up on different continents. <laughs> We've in the Blue Mountains, you know, in the backwoods in, in Texas, all over the place. And um, this is, it's finally, so a lot of people say they want to train like this. And I, I'm, we're going to warn you, we're not here just to make money. Um, you know, if you want to just see the program and, and support us, that's awesome. We appreciate it and not actually do it. But we do not want to lie to you and have you buy the program think you're able to do it. If you're not able to train twice a day, this is not for you. You know, this is the, for the people that are willing to put in twice the, ex, twice the effort to get 10% better. You look at all the great athletes in various sports, they will put in, you know, twice the effort of court. You know, think about it. You could do, if you just did like powerlifting, say, you could, you know, be 90% as good probably if you, you just did, you know, one top set on your main lift and a couple accessories and get out of there versus one top set, you know, multiple compensatory acceleration, you know, then focus on all your accessory work, do your recovery work on offset. That's the, all that extra works getting you about 10% better. So, I mean, so, so that's where you're at, you know, if you're not wanting to put in that extra work to get that much better, don't do this. It doesn't make you a bad person. This is just not for you. And, um, we're excited for the people it is for. And if it's not for you, it just, you can enjoy the series we're putting together here. And, um, so a tactical athlete, you think about this, you know, a tactical athlete is, uh, you know, must possess the tactical skills, Physical ability, speeds, conditioning, strength to, to kick ass on a long range mission or standoff, you know, be all of a sudden standing there for a long time, then unpredictably include some explosive burst of speed. It's crazy, right? So, but what does that mean? You know, you're, I want to be so, like somebody 50 pounds, you know, I want to move like somebody 50 pounds lighter. I want to be stronger like somebody 50 pounds heavier. So that's, that's what we're after here. It's, it's creating the highest levels of strength, but without an artificial conditioning base, because you'll be a obviously, if we just said, Hey, Tom, you know, screw it. We're not going to, you know, we don't really care about conditioning. We don't care about the movement. Let's just see how high we can push these lifts. Tom's lifts would go up. Of course, obviously faster than they are now, but you give up so much in the process. So would it, you know, it, do you, you can be 95% of strong say, and have, you know, and be a very high level in all of those other abilities. So it's what do you want? Do you want to, you know, if you want to um, just be able to, you know, show up to a meet, hit three lifts, you know, need to catch your breath for 10 minutes after walking up a flight of stairs, you know what? I fully support you and hope you lift a ton of weight that way. And I got no problem with it. I'm just saying this is not that. This is for people that want to get pretty much that level of strength but be able to repeat it over and over and do whatever you know what i mean that that's what we're after here so um most people you know in the reality unless you're again like unless you're training for world-class powerlifting or bodybuilding or something most people want to be able to perform like a tactical athlete regardless of what the hell they do for a living and this can be accomplished with the right you know training strategies and that's what we're after and 50 cubed. Um, no matter what a soldier's conditioning level is, you think about it, if they're not strong enough to sprint up a hill or climb over some obstruction with 120 pounds of their body weight, and look this up if you don't believe me, a lot of times that's what they're actually wearing. In Afghanistan, the average warfighter was like 100 pounds of external load. So no matter, you know, they're going to be compromised no matter what their level of conditioning is if they don't have the strength. And no matter how strong and explosive a tactical, you know, athlete is, if a cop doesn't have the endurance to sprint beyond 40 yards and the chase goes to 70, they're, you know, or 100, they're screwed. You know, no matter how long a cop can run 
and they've been following the Runner's World 5K, you know, world-class training program for, you know, the whatever, you know, Parade Marathon or five, you know, Christmas 5K, whatever the hell's going on. It doesn't matter if they're, if you're running, you know, a seven second 40, but you're running a six minute mile, that's fine if all you're caring about is the 5K. But if you're trying to chase somebody down, you know, whether it's a cop chasing a suspect, whether, you know, you got your kindergartner the first shiny bike and some neighborhood teenage punk jumps on it to steal it and you want to chase them down, you need to have the explosive power and speed. You know, some, you know, so think about all the, the, the tasks modern day warfighters are they're having to do heavy lifting, repetitive lifting, heavy load carriage, sprinting, and oftentimes under load, casualty evacuation, and many other tasks that are done fast and under extreme load. And, it, you know, you, you say that out loud, what the hell does that sound like, you know? Besides, it sounds like a strongman contest. Strength and power and a high amount of muscle mass with a low percentage of body fat are great predictors of how well anybody will carry these tasks out. And that's exactly what 50 cube does. It's, it's about, you know, tactical hypertrophy. The hypertrophy is functional. It's functional training. I hate that word a lot of times because it brings you straight to you Google search at some bizarre three ring, you know, sideshow circus. And these bizarre <clears throat> exercises you see at, at best provide no benefit to the tactile athlete. At worst, they cause, you know, injury. So what in the hell does functional training actually mean? It means transfer of training. How well training transfers to an intended goal. In the case of the tactical athlete, um, you know, the, you know, if you're actually in the field, the stakes are a hell of a lot higher than wins and losses. So how well does it actually transfer, you know? Does, you know, whatever, you know, so a lot of times a deadlift can be a functional, you know, because your deadlift, you know, strength to body weight ratio is a good predictor of speed. So while it doesn't mimic the mechanics of running, it's going to help you get faster up until a certain point. You get your deadlift up to 2.5 times your body weight. By default, you get faster up into that point. So click on the link at the bottom if you're ready for the tactical hypertrophy 50 cubed. It's twice a day. Be ready.